Hey guys, uh, I bet you're wondering why I'm dressed in such high fashion here in this 100 degree crisp weather. Well, that's because I found myself today in my travels in this small town of Hickory, North Carolina at the Hickory Motor Speedway. And I'm with NASCAR driver extraordinaire, Garrett Smithley today. Yeah, my name is Garrett Smithley. I uh, am a NASCAR driver. I drive in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series and also the NASCAR Xfinity Series. I have over 120 starts in NASCAR. I have over 70 wins, four championships in bandoliers and legend cars, and been racing for about 12 years. So uh, I have a lot of experience. I didn't ask for your Wikipedia, Garrett. Jesus. And Garrett has promised to take me around this track in a fast car. Haven't you, Garrett? I have. And I'm gonna regret that, aren't I, gonna, Garrett? Yes, you will. <laughs> so NASCAR is kind of the top echelon of stock car racing. And then short track racing is kind of grassroots. It's, it's where people get their oh. start. So that's- Okay, so this is like the hometown track. This is the hometown track, this that's right. This is the local right. thing. Yep. Actually, the most amazing thing about this track is that it looks like a gulag when viewed from the right angle. You see? What's a gulag? It's what the communists put their political dissidents in. I, like what's a prison for political dissidents. What's political? What, what did you like say? Like the people political? the communists didn't like, they put them in a gulag. Okay, like so a like a jail. Like a forced labor camp. Okay. Well, this is a racetrack, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Garrett, can you tell us a little about this thing? Yeah, so this is a, a late model race car. Be about 100, and, 100 miles an hour, 120 miles an hour. 100 uh, miles an hour? Yeah. You feel that when you're going on the highway, which I may or may not know about. Never gone above the speed limit in my life. And you wouldn't either, would you, Garrett? No. But there are no speed limits on this track, unluckily for me. I noticed there's no uh, door or door handle, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to waddle my fat. Climb through. Butt through the window, there's aren't no, I? There's no door handle, there's no window. Are all NASCAR cars like this? Yeah. They, hold on, they don't have taillights? That's right, no taillights. Are you, do you, my whole life I thought they were taillights. <laughs> They're stickers. All of them, yes. for real. You're not. Are you serious? I'm, I'm, None of them serious. have headlights. No, they've they've never had lights. What do you do when you gotta get it around in the dark? That's why there's lights. There's lights outside. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, and I don't know why I'm the one wearing this and you're not, but we're <laughs> ready to do this. Fly on the professional. Okay, yeah. So you just jump in. You just jump in. Okay. Show me. I you just show me how it's done. It's easy. It's easy. I'm Garrett Smithley, it's easy. It is easy, just hop in. Listen man, I'm gonna spray a youngster like you. Bright blonde hair and blue eyes, skinny as a twig, okay? I've seen some things, Garrett. Okay, that's easy. Listen kids, if I can do it, anyone can. And, but I haven't done it yet, so just hold on with that inspiration. How you doing over there? Don't <laughs> test me right now, Garrett. I swear to God, I've been, I've been putting up with your banter, your, your attitude. <laughs> it's easy. Easy. Frickin' barely felt it. Okay, genuinely goodbye. I love you, everyone. Okay. You ready? Are we good? We're just going, aren't we? Yeah, just go. Let's do this. Let's find it. Okay, that was actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Can you hear me screaming? No. That was really fast. <laughs> what do you think? That was a lot faster than I expected, <laughs> but also just about as fast as I expected. Was it fun? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how you drive that way. I'm pretty sure you're floating the car at a certain point. Yeah, it, like the, you felt the rear end kind of slide out? It felt smoother than I thought it would feel. That was nothing. That was nothing? <laughs> so what, what's, what's something? Don't show me something. Let me get out before I ask that question. Okay. I gracefully exited the vehicle before Garrett could show me what something was, but we had more important matters to attend to anyways, because Garrett and I were about to go head to head on the racetrack. Garrett, I can't say I'm not disappointed, man. I thought we were gonna do a race together, and you took me to a go-kart course? Well, yeah, I mean, everybody's gotta start somewhere. You can't just hop into a race car and drive it. Says you. I, well, all right, so if you can beat me out here in go-karts, then you can drive my race car. How's that sound? All right, you got a deal, dude. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. All right, Garrett, 
Eric's gonna start us off. He's gonna do a lap. Show us how it's done. Why don't you? All right, three, two, one, go! He thinks he's so good. You don't think I'm gonna be able to come close to that? What? Ye of little faith. Oh shit, the checkered flag. What was our time? What was his time, Eric? One minute 13. One minute 13. 73 seconds. He's still going. This guy's a speed demon. He just want to stop. Nice one, Garrett. You were you did you did one minute thirteen. Okay. How do you how do you feel you did? Better than you. Better. Than, I haven't done it yet. I know. But you still feel that way? Yes. What are you? Omniscient? You a <laughs> future teller? What's the weather gonna be like next week, Garrett? Faster than you. <laughs> I don't know where I'm walking, but it's somewhere away from this guy. Let's see how I hold up, yeah? You ready? Yeah. Got to be 113. Okay, 113. It's time to beat. All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Let's see how it goes. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Oh my god. A little bit harder than that one. Actually, it's just harder than that one. How'd I do? 136. A lot longer than yours. <laughs> well, you didn't wreck. The cart's in one piece. You're in one piece. You're not saying a lot for me, man. <laughs> I mean, you're saying a lot of words, but you're not saying a lot for me. I'm saying you're not taking my job. We're going to race now. <laughs> OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to race. We're going to do three laps. All right, let's find this down. I meant to do that. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. He's gonna wait. He's gonna... Oh my god, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, 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 no. no. Come on, man. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> now this guy, this guy is just a show off. Did you get that on camera? How he did me dirty? How he smeared his NASCAR doo doo in my face? All right, that was a good race, Garrett. Sup? <laughs> Next up was the main event. We headed down to the official NASCAR track at Charlotte Motor Speedway to get front row seats to the action. Supposedly to watch cars go fast or something. I don't know, I, I believe that was the idea. There we met up with Garrett as he was getting ready for the big race. He also signed some autographs for some kids, the national treasure, and I helped. He gave us a tour of the pit and even showed us a race car with his name on it. Wow, he's humble too. Finally, right before the race, we take some photos with our boy and say good luck. It's time for the good stuff. Off he goes in number four, Baby Blue. Godspeed, my dude. I'm not entirely sure, but from what I gathered, this event appears to be a high-speed recreation of Los Angeles traffic with less fatalities. Very cool. It's a wheel hop in a two-car. He's going to miss the chicane. Oh, the right behind him. Ran into the back of Garrett Smithley. We're with Garrett a little earlier than we thought. Yeah, so we just broke a transmission. Uh, so yeah. Just a parts failure. It's cars up there, <laughs> not, not on the racetrack. Yeah. So we came so. back here to meet Garrett. We were supposed to do a big thing at the end. It was like, Garrett, you did great out there, man. So we can still do that. No, no, but I'm getting to it. <laughs> Garrett, you did great out there, man. <laughs> oh, crap. You got a spin out. Yeah, somebody wrecked. Oh, man. 
I feel like um, I feel like as it goes on, we're getting more and more spin outs. Like people getting Boy, tired. Is shit in his yeah. pants right now because they just keep having all these cautions. It's like, yeah, it's like one after another. I, you see, that's from the that guy's mouth himself. <laughs> so that was pretty amazing out there. I got to tell you, that was that was. We were watching you zoom by. We're like, yeah, it's our boy, it's our boy. So I went to used the toilet, then I came out and you had crashed forever. I took Garrett Smithley out and I said, what happened? That's five, six, seven cars on the first lap and they got hit and then lost that all back and he passed them back and... Who hit you? Uh, JJ Yaley. J who? JJ Yaley. JJ Yaley? We're coming for you. You're on. <laughs> You're on the night watch. And for all of you out there, go follow Garrett at, what are your, do you have any socials? Uh, yeah, at Garrett Smithley on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. It's easy. At Garrett Smithley. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Garrett, this has all been amazing, but we've got one last challenge for you back at our lake house. Okay. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you say you swing by? Let's do it. Let's go. Use that as a transition. Cut me out. All right, Garrett, well, thank you uh, for coming out here to my beautiful lake house on Lake Norman that I definitely own and is mine. I brought you here because I wanted you to see my dead fish. There, there he is. That's just actually floating in the water behind us. Is that dinner? Now, Garrett, not that it wasn't um, a real blast being, you know, having my brains rattled around in my skull and um, disgraced on the go-kart track, <laughs> but, you know, so far it's all been on your turf, okay? But now, you're on my turf. It's not like a veiled threat or anything, it's just the facts. And, uh, you know, you being a racer, but me being an <laughs> epic gamer, I set up a VR racing scenario. That's right. Two Oculus Rifts, two, it's, v, it's VR racing, it's self-explanatory. Do you think you could beat me in the VR world as well as the real one, Garrett? Yeah, I can. Well, let's put that to the test. Visor's on. You're supposed to, thank you. VR. All right, Garrett, it's this way. Your seat is the red one, and I shall be blue. Oh, <laughs> so there's like steering wheels and Oh yeah, pedals. man. Welcome to hell, Garrett. Is that really a place? Apparently it is, yes. Somewhere in Norway. All right, Garrett, it's six laps around the Hell Norway track. Trying to lap you in three, got it. You know what? I think I might put up a little bit more of a fight this time because I watched you race. You probably practiced all day long. Whoa. <laughs> you just... do, you, do you see the wheel? I'm, I'm looking over to you in VR, but you're... I can't see you. Can you look, look Oh, left? I can look. There hey. you are. I mean, hey. actually... Oh, don't oh. shit. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> see ya, loser. Ah. Smoked him. Smoked him. Oh, God. I spun out. He spun out! You hear that? Wow, what a loser! Oh, you're like actually kind of good. <laughs> Shoot. Smell you later. I'm getting some really weird sensations. Oh, are you getting sick? Not sick, but it's just like... Oh yeah, this is like your first time, isn't it? <laughs> this is insane. Oh god! <laughs> I just did a jump. Oh no! Hey, oh, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Right, I'm good now. My windshield might... <laughs> oh! See ya! This is closer than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wait, did oh. I? Oh, who's this? So, you know what? I'm really happy I was ahead of you for at least 10 seconds. Dude, I'm getting like butt hurt about losing you a NASCAR driver right now. <laughs> oh, what is he? He didn't barely even practice this. Oh, he's lucky. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. It's cool, right? You just cost me money because I'm gonna buy one of these. <laughs> Woo! You did it? Winner! So nice job. That's That was cool. So not as bad as you thought though, right? No, you, I was worried for a second. <laughs> <laughs> for a second your pride was on the line? I was like, wait a minute. All right, Garrett, uh, it's been a blast. Thanks for coming on the show. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, me too. Stay tuned for me getting beat by other sports professionals next time. Bye. Bye. Phew. The virtual world can be a scary place. But it doesn't have to be, and that's where ExpressVPN comes to the rescue. Whenever you're connected to an unencrypted internet network on your phone, computer, tablet, or TV, you're sending countless pieces of information out into the digital world that can be seen and intercepted by all sorts of things before they get to their intended destinations. Without protection, a savvy hacker could gain access to your passwords, financial details, or even your emails. But there's good news. Using ExpressVPN, you can create a secure tunnel between your device and the internet, keeping your sensitive information away from prying eyes. ExpressVPN uses the highest standards of encryption currently available and is a top-rated VPN provider. Rated number one by TechRadar, CNET, The Verge, and many more. I travel a lot, as you can see, so I'm always on public networks. But ExpressVPN makes me feel secure and safe no matter where I browse. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below. ExpressVPN.com slash Jontron. Once again, go to ExpressVPN.com slash Jontron to take back your internet privacy today.
All right, folks, it's time for me to take off. My inner speed demon calls. Till next time. <laughs>